I'm loving it today. Well, this is exciting for me. John, John Bon Jovi is here. I saw him, what was it, over the summer. Yeah. What are you pointing at, Scott? I'm going to whack you. Oh, I, I know. I'm a professional broadcaster. You know, if he is doing something, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. John Bon Jovi. I saw him over the summer. Not with the band Bon Jovi, but with this group of people here, these fabulous musicians. And they got up on stage at the small club where, I don't know, how many people fit in that club? 115 was the capacity written on the wall. Okay, 115 people. There was probably more. How did they get people to perform there like John Bon Jovi? It was a charity. Charity. Yeah. Oh, he's a good do gooder. I guy. see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going right to heaven. <laughs> he's faithful to his wife. He's already got a room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got a room in heaven. He's been doing a lot of good. Didn't you just donate a million dollars to uh, Katrina? The band did, yeah. So, oh, you got the whole band in on it. Oh, wait a second. Hell yeah. <laughs> Isn't it true you went, you know, how did it go, Gary? You heard the story. It went, uh, Oprah inspired him, and he goes, you know what? I, I turned around to the band, I go, let's donate a million dollars. Who's with me? Exactly. Now that's putting guys on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Now when you say I didn't to the take guys, the gun out. I didn't have to take. The when gun. You, you were on Oprah, you were ta taping Oprah, and you go, "Hey guys, are you with me?" Now, on Oprah, they can't say I'm not with you. Um, I would have stood up. Of course, I'm a scumbag. I would say, "Listen, yeah. you, you do what you want." Or do you say it and then you sort of leave, hoping he'll never ask? Well, well the question is, is did it they get a hold of you afterwards? And Richie said, "You listen." Hey, hey, hey! Right. <laughs> that was very generous of you. No, no, no. You're because... stripping my child's college fund. Yeah. Is it a four-way split equally? That uh, that uh, well, let's see, five. No, five, five guys. So is it 200 grand each, or is four. it John 500 right. four and everybody? Guys. Okay. Is, is it four guys now each have to kick in two fifty apiece? No. How's it going to work? It's 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 a benevolent dictatorship that we run in in the band, you know. So I pay quite a bit, and they pay some. So David pays like ten grand. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, no, the guys they, the guys made a substantial contribution. Were they angry though? Were they upset with no, you for doing that? No, everybody was really moved by the whole thing. I mean, you put them on the spot for God's sake. No, we didn't. We did well, it. We, we thinking... knew it the day before. We knew it. We, we, this wasn't like a on the stage kind of thing. Right. Wait a minute. Are you thinking that they wouldn't give unless you prodded them? No, oh, at all. I don't think. Uh, uh, there's at least two guys I'm thinking of in that band that would not have given. <laughs> John, do you want to make a contribution now with this band? A million dollars. Who's with me, guys? So anyway, I went to this club, and John did a bunch of songs with these guys. I don't even know how you met these musicians, but they're very, very good. Mm -hmm. is, is your band Bon Jovi very jealous of you performing with these people? No, no, not at all. In fact, Bobby, Bobby Bandier and Jeff Kazee, two friends of mine from uh, on loan from Southside, Johnny and the Asbury Jukes, are touring oh, with the oh, band. They're going to tour with the band this year. They're going to tour with your band? Yeah. Oh no kidding! Yeah, and uh, and as you can tell, Lorenzo's way too beautiful for my wife to allow. Lorenzo, I got to say, Lorenzo Ponce. The... Lorenzo plays violin <laughs> like an angel. And say you, that high again. And you've got oh. a and you've got a killer body. <laughs> adorable. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank You're thank adorable. You <laughs> it's very sexy when a woman can play a, an instrument like the violin. I've under, I understand the violin is the hardest instrument to play out of all the instruments. It's definitely difficult. Yeah, and you sing as well. Mm -hmm. And you wear sexy shirts and clothes. Oh, well, thank you, That's Howard. That's a powerful combination. <laughs> where do we know her from? Yeah, where do I know you from? How do I get to know She's you? Been How on did the John road? meet her? You've yeah. seen her you know, How did John Dixie meet? Chicks and Sheryl Crow. Oh, no oh, okay. uh, I understand the Dixie Chicks mistreated you horribly. Is that true? Once you not at all. Yeah. They're wonderful girls. I heard Sheryl Crow came on to you and you have a sexual harassment suit against her. Is that true? Uh, no, it's not it true. It is not true. Too bad. <laughs> Well, there's no lawsuit you. pending. There are not, <laughs> may I say, there are not many girls prettier than John. But you know what? <laughs> I got to say that. Uh, and John, you are still good looking. He sure is cute, guys. See? My I was man. telling yes. him in the hall that the other day I went to see this movie, Cry Wolf, that's in theaters now. Mm -hmm. And I went to see it because a bunch of the kids who worked at the theater were like, you know, Cry Wolf just came out. We all want to see it. So I changed my mind. I said, I'm going to go see what every, everybody wants to see. And who's the bespeckled teacher? Who? In the movie, John Bon Jovi. Oh, yeah. for crying out loud. What, your life isn't good enough? <laughs> so what do you... Uh, now, uh, you know, a lot of guys who started bands when you did are looking horrible. Are they? Well, come on. 
But yeah, I watched some of these shows. The guy from Flock of Seagulls looks like he's ready to oh, show. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I saw that. You know oh, what, what I'm talking about? What was that TV show? Hit me, baby, one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. I saw that. Yeah, there was, uh, yeah. But you are staying young and in shape. This is something uh, that is important to you. You don't want your fans to come out and see you a big mess. Well, you know, I, right. I'm, <laughs> I don't need to be on Hit Me, Baby, one more time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, you're not looking for that. You want to keep the career no, going. I don't think so. That's right. It's very important. So anyway, this is an exciting day for me because I saw you do this. Yeah. And I said, I, I said to you, would you do this for my audience? Yeah. And you said you would. Yeah. Uh, you have a new album out. Starting today, it goes on sale. It's called Have a Nice Day. It's available in stores. Uh, tickets for Bon Jovi's upcoming tour go on sale October 1st. For more information, you can go to BonJovi.com. And what was that happening out in the hall? Gary says you now travel with a healer of some kind. Is that true? Oh, man, I got any kind of voodoo you can get. And what, what was that, Gary? What yeah. happened? Voodoo, voodoo. You know, it's funny. There was a guy standing in the green room, right? And I saw him holding this really odd device. It's like a oh, ball at the end and a long oh, stick good. on it. I thought it, was hey, a, uh, I thought it was some sort of a tuner. Right. So I said to the guy, well, what's that? And he said, well, he sort of talked to me about tissues. And when you have bad tissues, you fix the tissue. So then he asked me to stick my hands out. Right. And he says, push down as hard as you can. And I didn't. Uh, you know, he holds them. Then he says to count. And when I count, my hands don't go down as far. Then he says to hum. And again, my hands don't go down as far. So he takes the device. He says, you know, you're a little out of balance. So he pointed it to the wall and it's some sort of laser light. And he held it over my head. Right. And for a couple of minutes, I didn't feel anything, but I guess it was working. And then when I put my hands back and did that same exercise again, I could hold it. And he said, he now who is this? Because I was going to have him thrown out of the building. You know, the funny thing was, what, <laughs> you know what the thing was? When we were in the middle of doing this, John was in the other room, and it was so weird that I wasn't positive that he had accidentally gotten in, and I thought that he might not be with John. <laughs> and I got really worried. He was about to throw him out of the building. No, I, did. I said, maybe this guy just got in, John. You know, John doesn't know. Maybe John thinks he's with me. <laughs> right. John, that guy is with you, right? Yeah. What is that all about? Why do you have him? Yeah, what Why do you think doing? I look this good? Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that actually works with us for God. I stole him from Axl Rose in 1992. And look at what happened to Axl. He, sure. <laughs> he fell apart. He's off balance. balance. That's for sure. And he shines a light here. on your head, <laughs> and it, it works. You know, I would hold a voodoo chicken over my head if I could sing good in the mornings. And so, is it to help you he's actually singing? a chiropractor by trade, but he does all this holistic. That's what I think. Why didn't the guy use the this ray gun on your teeth and make them smaller? If he's so good. He couldn't go there. It's too hard a to trip. How much does a guy like that uh, get for putting you in way balance? Way too much money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, now he's way too successful. Now he's on the Stern Show. Forget about it. Are you his only client? No, unfortunately, he's got a really big practice. Right. I don't want to freak you out, but uh, sitting on the couch is a uh, super cop, Mike Gaffney, who is considered the top cop in the country, and you know about all his, you know his, his reputation. Exploit, yes. uh, and his wife, Kareem Gaffney, of course, wanted to come in here uh -huh. to watch you. She's a big Bon Jovi fan. So they're, they're not here to bother you in any way, is that right? <laughs> You're the biggest Bon Jovi fan? Yes. Yes, well, that. I can How never... sweet. That's sweet. So you got a little bit of an audience. Okay. Here. So what are we going to do first? Well, let's do just what you want. You want Beatles songs? We know Beatles yeah, this songs. This is fun. This yeah, this is good fun. So, uh, All right. Here we okay. go. 